Okay, ladies and gentlemen, four welcome to four day two official coverage four of the third round championship schedule race. The Red Dog Race is the inaugural championship. championship. This year it's in Behind memory of Gary Wright. We want to give a big shout out to the Wright family. And in memory of Gary, we run day two in Rondi. The first team is just getting ready. It's a 12 15 start day today. It started 15 minutes after noon, so we're just about to start. If you haven't missed anything yet, share the feed. Let us know where you're from. Todd Whitcomb's going to be bib number one. Uh, the first team starting, sorry. He's bib number 25. Uh, Tony Blanford did scratch and Eric LaForce also did scratch. So um, here we are. We're just about to see the first team go live in Anchorage. Here's our some of our gallery audience here. They got their phones out. Woo! There they are. Look at that. The streets are packed here. We got our streets over here packed. Three minutes. Three minutes to real time. Three minutes. There it is. Anchorage is looking good today. The crowd's looking good. There's your start list, folks. So Tony Blanford did scratch. So we're starting with Todd Whitcomb right now. It's the first team. All right, you're just about to see the start here, folks. One minute. First team day two for Rondi 2020. Moving day. If you're just joining us, you have not missed a thing. This is the first team. Tony Blanford has scratched bib number 26, so we're starting with bib number 25. Okay, it's on folks, day, day two, here we go. It's move up day. That's the first team out, Todd Whitcomb, bib number 25, bib number 26 has scratched, bib number 15 has scratched. Eric LaForce Thanks, injured Matthew's his back yesterday. Coming up to the line. He is so going to sit it out. Let's Rondi, folks. He has brought three from yesterday with a time of 105.47. He has 48 years experience. He's a kennel on the way occupation. He has Look at some of these dogs. great faces from the city the here. He hopes to have a smooth run all three days. His sponsors the Napa Auto Care Center. Lance Mackey, everybody. Bib number 24. The living legend. Lance. Back with us. 
If you're just joining us, team number two leading on day two, Lance Mackey. <laughs> All right, Lance's wife. Four time I did our champion. <clears throat> All right, this is Lance Mackey's view here. Looking straight down 4th Ave. They got to charge all the way down 4th. They'll take it right on Cordova. They'll head down the hill and they'll head out on the trail. 25 mm -hmm. miles. <laughs> Here we go. Game on, folks. Lance Mackey heading out. And Lance Mackey from Fairbanks on the way out. Eli Campbell from Fairbanks. Racing Chaos Channel, a rookie at 28. Tour guide by occupation. My dogs remind me to be patient, thoughtful, and efficient. Lance Mackey on the trail. Right now, Eli Campbell coming up next. Eli Campbell of Fairbanks. Rookie here. Dave Turner's partner. There's Dave Turner. There's Eli coming out. It's a bit of a colder day today. joining us you're live downtown Anchorage for day two coverage five four three two one go and you like Tim will go around that first rock in 15 yesterday 10504 the time for her first day of competition Bad McCracken coming up next from Mosier, Oregon. Eli Campbell Mosier, Misfit safely Pendle, out on fourth, heading down to Cordova. Here we go. Your day two coverage well underway here. We had a lot of pre-race interviews. Thad McCracken coming in right now. Thad McCracken had 16 dogs out front today, yesterday. And 12 dogs out front today. Thad McCracken, folks. Says for about 10 years has been a dream for Brian Wilson has intentionally grown the kennel and experience to be ready to get his mommy still fat and fat and for the whole year of her. Remember the same as the first parts you've seen when you see him come up? Here he comes. One minute, Dr. Long. Four, 
three, two, one, go! Over the back end, Oregon on the way on the trail. Hans Gunk from White Horse, Yukon, of the God Kennel. There goes Thad McCracken, folks. Share the feed. Make sure you tag a friend who hasn't seen the Ronnie before. We're really honored to be here in downtown Anchorage. Thanks to all of our sponsors that made the race happen. $65,000 purse. Reverse starter today. Cloudy or colder for sure. My hands are much colder than they were yesterday. All right, Hans Gott's here, folks. Yukon Quest champion, four time. Han said he had about a six minute tangle yesterday, passing, so that bumped him back to 21st place. Here he is coming down the line right now. These are his Yukon Quest dogs right here. Han's got the legend, been racing a whole lifetime. All right, we got our canine crew helping out. Look at the crowds here, folks. Thanks so much for all the shout outs. Make sure you leave a message for your favorite musher here, a heart or a thumbs up. They'll see it later. This is the official living live scrapbook feed here of the race. It'll live on a long time, so you're all in it together here. Look at all the folks in Anchorage. 30 seconds. Hans Gott's a legend out of Whitehorse, Canada. Better for the dogs when it's colder, that's for sure. More canine crew, Imaging Associates helping out. Hi, babies. Everybody's in on this today. Hans Gotts. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There goes Hans Gotts. He had about a six minute tangle yesterday, folks. So this team can move up quite a bit today. Expect him, if he has a clean run, to bump Wednesday up quite a bit. Wednesday is our next musher up at the time of 98.42 for the first day Right of the on, way to cheer on Hans. He'll pick that up later. He's really excited to be here. Here's Wendy Callis's team. And his Remember staying on 4th Avenue watching Doc Lombard and George Atwood go by. Want to run the fur rendezvous ever since. It's been challenging, but right. it's hard to complete preparing the dogs for. Up next, Wendy Counts. She is a veteran musher and she has had a 98.42 for the first day of racing. She's got 12 dogs today. She has 13. There's those lead dogs. Look at the crowd all around everywhere. That's how they tell which dogs have been run at the same time. Painters and checkers. There's Wendy right there. One minute, one minute. Race Marshal Dan Clark, Race Manager John Rasmussen, Trail Boss Dan Sheridan, Timers Beth Palma, Mary Cavins, Kathy Gurinays, and Mary the Rachel, along with Fran Bar up here in the tower. All making sure the race goes smoothly. 30 seconds. Hi, you guys. I remember you from yesterday. Yeah! Oh boy! Coming up is going to be Danny Beck, 15 dogs for him. There yesterday. she goes, Wendy, he had heading on down. If you're just joining us, reverse start order today, so you've had about seven teams one. leave right now. Plenty more live action here. Bud Streep will be the last team to head out. So he'll head out right about one o'clock Anchorage time. Colder day today, cloudier day today. We've had two scratches. Tony Blanford, bib number 26. Eric LaForce, bib number 15. They have scratched. Welcome, Nina Scramstead, and everybody joining us around the world. You're right here, downtown 4th Ave. It's on. Danny Beck here. Hey. Hi. 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 
Right on, let us know here cheering for the mushers will all look at this later. And they certainly appreciate the support. We got a lot of great interviews earlier. One minute. Right, way to see that. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Kenny's back. Look at these great looking dogs. Yep, that's the one. Oh, yeah, the wheel dog wants to go. Here we go, Danny. Good luck out there. Right on. We got the whole family cheering them on. Lloyd Gilbertson cheering on Danny. Ten. Rocky Lafferty. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Danny Beck, one of our Canadians heading out. We had a great interview with Danny earlier. Long drive for these Canadians. Carolina is our next Love being out here. Seven oh one for the first day of competition. Sixteen dogs out day two. from Saint Emile, Quebec. Sixty three years old. Rookie in the race. Thirty five dogs. Twenty twenty world performing champion. Right on, folks. Finish. Good to have Next you all here. Good to have you back. Relationship together, the Rondi family. Like Look at this. They're changing out a little bit. Sixteen dogs the out crowd out looking good. good. This is how they get to see the world right here. That's what it looks like to be important. You get a good view of the Sud Dog race. That way. Okay. Thanks for joining us wherever you are. There's a little sprint coat on there, a little warming coat. Right on, good to have you all here, folks. Regine Ferrian right now from Quebec. Regine. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. Hey. 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 Look at that, all the people coming together to make this all work here. That's our singer. And we are 14 minutes into the race with Frank. All Hayden right, Regine heading out right now out for him on yesterday. the trail, looking good. He'd like to finish this year. Last yeah, year's dog's got a little sick, so he's still considered a rookie. Fram Gulch, a rookie at 59 years old, a position by occupation. He wants to be in the top half of the field. Right Spent on. Thanks for joining us from all over the world. I see people from Canada, Australia, Norway. Everybody's here. The family's back together again. Frank Haberman. All right. Frank Haberman, folks. Remember to go to ASDRA, A-S-D-R-A dot org and follow the timesheets, download your checkpoint timesheet, and then also 590 a.m. Hi, guys. Seconds. All right, Frank Haberman here from Clam Gulch. More of a, a distance musher, but working on his Rondi rookie year. Ten, five, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, one, go! Frank Haverman. 16 minutes into the race with Frank Haverman, Bruce Magnuson coming up next to rookie. Clan Gulch, actually from Newberry, Michigan, 56 years old. Finished all three days and with a happy, healthy team would be his goal. A top 10 would be a plus. His concern, going through the tunnels. The race has been on the bucket list for over five years. The dog makes him a much patient. All right, next our team coming in. A little differently, everyone. Looks like Chris Magnuson to me. Newberry, Michigan. His time for the first day of competition, 95.23. He had 14 dollars yesterday, 14 dollars today. Here the lead dogs. One minute at the line. Seconds for Bruce Magnuson. Good clean star for Bruce. There he goes. From okay, Upper Michigan here in team. Anchorage. <laughs> Bruce Magnuson, rookie market. year. Eric will force uh, scratch from the race yep. after the driver's minute. So we are now going to hold the space in there from his time, which would be the 20 minute mark in this particular case. There we are right down there. The next musher is going to be starting on minute 22, and that'll be Armin Johnson. Okay, so quick update. Uh, Eric LaForce did scratch, so here. there'll be a break in the action right minutes. now. Uh, they'll run minutes. the two minutes without him. He hurt his back yesterday. I talked to him at the end of the race. We have an interview on uh, the feed from last night. You can go watch it um, during the break right now, and you can scroll forward and see Eric. Uh, something about his back. And, um, of course, day one, Rondy's always tough here. So we're going to have a little pause right now, and we'll come back here soon. I'll give you more street views. Everybody's had a clean start right now. Reverse, reverse start, so the slowest teams from yesterday start first today. And they're going to be bringing in Armin's team now. But we still have that clock ticking for Eric LaForce. He's him from the race. We know he has a lot of fans around the world. Hi! Okay, up next is going to be Armin. There's Armin, looking good. Good luck, good luck today. <laughs> here, say it in the mic right here. Hey guys, how's it going? There's Armin right there. Thank you so much, Libby Riddles. That's very kind of you.
Okay, we had that pause because Eric before did scratch today, folks. That kept us out a little bit. Armin Johnson up next. 30 seconds now, folks. Downtown Anchorage, day two. There goes Armin Johnson in 14. Northwest Territories, 40 North years West old, Territories. conservation officer by occupation. 20 dogs in the kennel. His last time racing the race, 2019. Says, be the best you can be with what you got. Brent Beck, 94-22 is time for the first day of There you go, Brent. That is Armin Johnson up there. All right, Brent Beck here coming to the line. He'd like to move up today. He was the first bib in the draw. So Wednesday night, he drew number one. Thursday, he inspected the track. Friday, he went out first. Today, bib 13. There he is, keeping an eye on his team. Welcome from all over the world. You're downtown right now. You're about halfway through the start of day two here. Live coverage, two minute intervals, reverse start. The fastest teams are coming up. One minute, one minute. Rocky Lafferty says, good luck. Brent, you're the man. And we just got Lisa Saunders with a Canadian flag on there for you. Right on. Thank you guys, all the Beck fans out there. Look at him just keep an eye on his team. Get him fired up here. I did a one. 15 seconds for Brent Beck. Four, three, two, one, go! Brent Best from the Northwest Territories out and running. Bondurant, Wyoming, the home of Alex Crittenden, our next rookie to come to the line. Brent Beck there, folks, Brent hitting down fourth. JHI Racing, a rookie at 32 years old, tour operator, wants to be the top rookie. Danny Beck's already on 10. the trail. Wait to be a part of the Brent Beck hitting down the trail. We're about halfway through our lineup here. Only two scratches today. Eric LaForce and Tony Blanford. Here's Alex. That's Alex Crittenden's. Look at this long string of dogs here. Holy moly. Alex Crittenden. 16 again today. Running 16 dogs today. Wow. That puts us halfway through this racing Here's what 16 dogs looks like in downtown Anchorage, folks, on day two. That's a long string of dogs right there. Mushing out of Wyoming, JHI Kennels. Eli, or sorry, um, Alex Crittenden, you can check out her Facebook posts, really good stuff. Look at these dogs, they're looking great. Best of luck, Alex. And thanks everybody for volunteering today. It takes a whole army out there, literally.
Alex Friedman out of here. Jeff Kahn from Mestre, Alaska with the Highland Kennel, 67 years old, a retired researcher. There goes Alex Crittenden for all you Wyoming fans. There she goes. One of the five female mushers in the race, one of the rookies having a great time. Says Jeff Kahn. Got a great interview with her earlier. Three dogs for him yesterday in the time of 92.39. And there you go, Lloyd David Gilbertson Jeff giving Tom folks like Alex. Seven. That's so nice. Thanks for doing that. Here we go. Back on the start line. We're breaking closer to that top 10. Look at this scene here in Anchorage. Bring back a lot of memories for a lot of people to be here. Jeff Kahn got his helmet on today. Consummate professional, consummate. One minute, one minute. Moving some dogs around here. Look at his team. A little last minute switching there. Jeff Kahn. Getting all the snaps just right. Professionals never stop working. It's always something. You got to keep an eye on everything around here. Every little detail to put it all together. A lot of Jeff Conn fans out there. There he is, fixing another line with 30 seconds ago. Makes your heart kind of race, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Remember that feeling? Okay, here we go, here we go. Jeff's out safe. Jeff's out clean, drag mat down, speed Martin management. Associate with a flat out dog's kennel, 55 years old, first ran the race in 2007. That's Gary a dream Martin come true right there to have a run down for fourth. First day of competition, he had 14 dogs out front and 12 dogs today. Yep, in memory of Gareth Wright this whole year. Do well. he says, I enjoy great to have Roxy here, great to have all the champions here, here like Roxy, Harley, Ken Cheesick, I know we got Ego watching. I know Amanda Atla, George's daughter's here. Big shout out to Amanda. Emotional time for her for sure. If you haven't caught the uh, Atla documentary, please do. It's outstanding. Gary Markley. First team up Cordova yesterday. For, for, the, for the, all of you who watched online, that was Gary charging up. Running out of Solcha. He and his wife Andrea have a big old garden there. Beautiful little homestead there. One minute. They live right near the Dunlaps. Gary can move quite a few positions up or down today. We had a nice conversation earlier. This is the kind of day that is a moving day. If you're bib number 10, you're in a good position. You have a good run, you move up quite a few. You have a okay run, you probably hang right where you are. Maybe drop a few. But if you have a good run, you're moving up. 30 seconds. Right on. We want to give a special shout out to Eric LaForce. We're feeling for him out there. The mushing family sending him quick healing, hopefully, Thank Eric. You. I know that back of yours really hurt yesterday. We do hope you get better. We're missing Ten. you. Five, four, three. Gary Markley. And Mitch. There he is, nice and smooth. Gary Markley cruising down fourth. That's a zoom in for you. We'll hold the steady cam. Michael Tetzner up at the line next with the Tetzner Racing Farm, 54 years old. Cloudy, cooler day today in Anchorage, for sure. Best finish so far was fifth in 2019. The sun was out yesterday. Here we go, Michael Tetzner. For all you Germans and folks who love Michael Tetzner over the years. He takes care of his dogs first. He says he hopes to be in the top three. It's all a big challenge, his concerns. Michael Tetzner with a time of 91.45 and 16 dogs out front on the first day. 12 dogs today, so he dropped four. Michael running with four fewer dogs today on day two. One minute. 
That's his daughter right there. One minute and his wife. Gonna get a little kiss, maybe. Ah, that's the good luck kiss right there. Okay, Michael Tetzner's no stranger to this position. He's got to move up today. Yeah, thanks, Jeannie Hanson. Let's all give Eric a shout out. That back of his really hurt yesterday when I talked to him. He traveled all the way across the world to get to this race. You want to complete it, so we feel for Eric. And all of his fans and family and handlers. Hope he heals quickly. Look at how calm his team is. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There he goes. This will be Don Cousins at Crooked Creek, Alberta, at the Hideaway Kennel, 67 years old. A retired wildfire manager, uninspired to enter the race because Michael of the historic Tetzner event. Like no having a good other run right now. Let's world. see if you can it's keep it up and move up a bit. Exciting race. Yeah, Joel just said finish. tracking would be nice. It would this be nice to have Don tracking Cousins. here. Fourteen dogs out front on the first day. A time Don Cousins. The first day of here he is. Twelve dogs out front today. Classy musher out of Canada had a great run yesterday. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. The one minute of the line for Don Cousins. Right on, there he is. Handler Group from Imaging Associates here. Lots of folks in the line today, so I'll step back a little bit, give you a little room. Don Cousins, folks. Five, four, three, two, one. There he is, Don Cousins on the trail, yeah, looking to move up today. Field, Alberta, the He's got an 18-year-old chasing him two minutes behind. He's coming up next, so he has it's the world fun. champion it's team of Roxy Wright and Arlie Reynolds right about the race. coming up behind him. So Don's got quite the she day. In the Canadian Open Championship <laughs> last year. She that must be awesome. For the first All right, Maya Hardin, folks. We gave an interview a couple days ago so you could meet this 18-year-old. She's running... Dogs that Arlie Reynolds won the world round. It's right here. He won this race. There's Mandy. Say hi to her husband. Patrick at home. Here we are. Yeah, who's in lead again? Dream and Vale. And they're ready to roll. Dream and Vale in lead today for Maya Hardham. There's Mark Hardham who injured his back in a car wreck a couple years ago. So he's not mushing right now. He's mentoring his daughter. There's Mark looking good. Hi, guys. So if you're looking at what world championship the time for conformity the looks like. She is the fastest rookie in the race right now. Look at how light and lean and beautiful these guys are. Calm, there's Roxy. Boom. And Maya. I know this guy's shaking. You get 30 the, seconds. You get the dogs that shake because they're so excited. That's how my little 10 month old is. I pull out the harness and he starts shaking. Yeah. <laughs> so let's keep an eye on Mara. She's got a world class team, she can move up. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 
Go get him, Maya. Okay, Maya's going to be managing that team for 25 more miles right now. Managing that speed, Marvin day two. Marvin from North Pole, Alaska, 64 years old, 40 years, racing 20th, 28th. There she is, race. looking good. That's Let him roll. Second place, Marvin says the Romney is a big part of his life. His sponsors include Great Northwest, Mountain Movers Church, and Teamsters 959. Marvin Cochran, 16 dogs out front, first day. Okay, here we go. He has 14 dogs Marvin Cochran. We talked to his wife earlier. The Cochran family, deep in the mushing for a long time. They're switching some dogs around right now. There's Marvin right there. One minute, one minute. Give it a little pep talk. Marvin Cochran here, bit number six. Great run yesterday. Okay. 30 seconds. There's Marvin's wife right there by his side, calming force. They've been working on winning this race for a long time now. Years and years, let's see. 15. Hi. 10. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And at 38 minutes into the race, we are into the top five of the mushers who went out of here yesterday. Guy Gerard from Quebec with a lot comment. Marvin Cochran, years old, not running his wood kennel. sled, though he did talk about it the other day when we were doing the trail inspection. Christina Wood just yes, noted that with the dogs for me. her memory has Marvin running wood sleds. Best finish so far. There he is chasing his first ever Rondi title in sixth place. Marvin Cochran, North Pole, Alaska. The okay, Guy Girard. Here we go. Guy also gunning for his first win. Really nice fifth place finish yesterday. He's got a big challenge ahead today, just keeping that position. Not getting into a tangle, avoiding moose, avoiding other distractions on the trail, avoiding running too fast. There's a lot of things on day two. Hi guys, are you shaking? Because you're so excited. Nice, petite, beautiful, sleek frames here on these guys. Beautiful dogs. That's right, Yvonne Binet cheering us on from Quebec. Thanks for that. He's checking all the lines. He's Gerard here. A lot of fans. People cheering him on from all over. Canada's family here. There we go. It's always a miracle that they actually get ready in time. Five, four, three. Two, one, go! There he is, ready to go. Key Girard. Snow hook in one hand. Dog team flying. His goal is to win the race. He says he's a commercial fisherman by occupation. Okay, folks, just a few more teams. Here we go, and then we'll move over to Cordova Hill. Taylor, Hopefully you have the radio tuned. Front front there you go. You can see Guy Girard heading down fourth. Thanks for all the shout outs. Thanks for being here. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Greg Taylor, the Taylor Kennel right here, Taylor family. <laughs> Ricky Taylor right there. <laughs> right on, Dar Bishop says go bro, right on, here's Ricky, <laughs> 
Right on. That's the line you did it. Oh, are you a singer or what? <laughs> Look at those beautiful eyes, beautiful ears. These dogs are just gorgeous. There you go, right there, Dar. There's your, there's your brother. Greg Taylor getting a big cheer from the crowd down there. Looking to move up today. Certainly wants to hold his own. Fourth place. He's got some uh, gap to close there to get on the podium. Right on. Here we go. Breaking into it, folks. We're breaking into the top three right now. Cal Rouge Parto. It's getting exciting here. Make sure you share the feed. Day two. Top three teams starting right now. So if you just tuned in, your timing is perfect. <laughs> KP. <laughs> Clarendina. There we go. Bib number three. One minute. Karush going for his first Fur Rondi title. He's won races all over the world. Former champion Ken Chizik right here helping out. One of the champions. Thirty seconds. There he is, 30 seconds, the clock is just perfect. These mushers manage it right down to the last second. A sled tour guide and a rookie of the year with a third place finish. It says it makes you nervous. Make you nervous? Yes, it makes me really nervous. Yeah, he's on the trail right now. Yep. The time All 12 of them. Okay, good luck. Bad luck. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go, folks. Yeah. 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 Last year she got third, looking to move up. Only one way to go. She got a two minute gap though to close on Buddy. That's gonna be something that would have to take a tangle or a slowdown. That's a lot of speed. She's not gonna try to close that today. She's gonna run a good clean run. But Buddy did blast out yesterday. He wanted to make sure he put a statement on this race that his team was here to compete. Look at that, Anchorage State Patrol, Safety Patrol all helping out. And then right behind her is Bud Streeper, they're getting ready. There's Amy's view. Looking down, one of the best dog teams on planet Earth right here. They've been working really hard, they got a lot of yearlings in this crew. And they're gonna be a force to reckon with. Jason right up front. 15. 10. If you were a dog, this is what you'd see. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, 
go. There they go, there they go. Second place here, Amy Dunlap out and running. And yeah. our first place, Musher Blaine Streeper comes to the line. Ford Nelson. Nice Columbia. work, Amy. Streeper Kennels, 38 Have years a old. good run. Champion, seven time winner of this race with a kennel of 150 dogs. He had a time of 86 18. There for she the first goes. Day of competition. He ran 18 dogs. Got a lot on, on her day. mind. His uncle Eddie won the race in 85. His father ran All the race. All right. Reigning champion, Bud Those Streeper. Seven time Rondi winner. He's got a lot of work to do to chase Eggle's title, or sorry, uh, uh, George Atlas title of 10 for Rondi. One at a time, man. <laughs> Last team to leave, Buddy Streeper, seven time for Ronnie Champion. His wife, Lena, who just won the Manitoba Paws Championship, World Championship. The child. Fifteen. Teams are out and running. We'll let you know when the first ones are coming back. There into he town. goes. And we figure that's about 30, 40 minutes from right now. It's not going to be very long. All right. Bud Streeper heading down. Why don't you pull up a chair over there, Lord Trapper, and grab that microphone. <laughs> We're all exhausted here, folks. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to go ahead and relocate over to Cordova Hill. That was super great. We appreciate everybody cheering on the mushers, letting us know where you're from. You can see what a great community is here in downtown Anchorage. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Without them, there is no race. You can't have a city organized like this. Close this downtown down and throw on a great dog party without all the sponsors and everybody working together. So thanks so much. Uh, yeah, Libby's saying, I hope he has a GoPro on. I do believe that um, Buddy's just focused on the trail to this race. It was pretty cool last year when he had his live stream going and he was giving up his race philosophy and stuff. But I think this year it's just focusing on bringing it home. I talked to him yesterday. He did say he wanted to go out super fast yesterday for two reasons. One, in 2017 when Roxy Wright won, it was day one that caught Buddy. Day one for Buddy was slow when Roxy won and he wanted to make sure he didn't repeat that. And then also, uh, there was the unknown threat of Eric LaForce. And so with Eric LaForce and a caliber team like that coming in the Ronnie for the first time, I think, I think Buddy wanted to make sure he put a time down that was formidable and that was a statement and that his dogs could handle and they didn't leave anything on the table. So uh, great job uh, explaining all that to everybody. Uh, Buddy, I always love everybody's interviews. Go back and watch them. we got some great insights this morning from the mushers. Uh, the more you cheer them on, the more they feel comfortable and the better this gets. So um, thanks so much, everyone. We'll get tuned out now. We'll see you over on Cordova.